Big Sky Outdoors, powered by Town Pump, fueling your next outdoor adventure, is also brought to you by Counter Assault, your ultimate protection in the wild, by Montana Army Navy. Get it, get out, and live it. The Outdoor Report is provided by Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. And Bob Wards, everything outdoors, Montana style. I have three time lapses going and running around super excited, tending to all of them, making sure batteries and cards and intervals and everything are right and, um, and the sun is about to come out. refuge and I got my time lapses working and right now I'm feeling a little bit of rain which is a super drag because I've got I've got thousands and thousands of dollars of expensive electronics equipment set up right here and uh, it can't get wet and so if it's in a pelican case I can kind of close the lid a little bit but if it really starts to rain I'm just it's game over which is kind of a drag and so I'm doing this ridiculous thing where I wait for the camera to take a picture and then I have to wipe the drops off the lens. This is silly. But yeah, I'm doing it. So I get out of the frame, and then once I hear the shutter click, I jump out in front of the frame and wipe off the lens and then jump back behind the frame before the intervalometer triggers the shutter again. I'm hoping this isn't gonna last very long, and I can keep the drops on the lens at bay and then um, make it one continuous time lapse and I won't have to stop and take all this stuff down. Well, it's starting to lose the light a little bit, but um, you've got these cool patterns of light moving around on the hills out there, and they're gonna, they don't look like they're moving at all right now, but in time lapse, they'll be crawling all over that mountainside. It'll be really neat looking. MailChimp um, does not sponsor the show. It just so happens that they gave me this really soft shirt for free for some reason, and uh, they got lucky when I put it on, not thinking, before I came up here to shoot time lapses. So, you're welcome, MailChimp. Two inches of dolly left. But I have more than two inches of awesomeness left. But I'm, I'm killing it right now. Ah, our light's gone, so... Uh, Time lapse kind of over. I just reset the time lapse down here on the track on the dolly slider, and uh, but there's no more dynamic light left, so it's just gonna kind of be a, a, a bluish kind of grayscale dusk to dark sort of time lapse. Um, and that's shooting right now, and uh, so that's what that looks like. I thought maybe the sun would poke out uh, to the bottom of the clouds there, and we'd get a little like encore dramatic light, but. Um, the haze on the horizon swallowed it all up and, uh, and so that's it. Now uh, I just get to haul all these back to the studio and, um, and process them all and string them together and see what it looks like.
Since 1953, Town Pump has proudly served our communities as Montana's best convenience store. Town Pump offers a huge selection on all your favorite products, and we're always expanding to meet your needs. This month's specials include all sizes of fountain drinks, just one dollar. Corn dogs are two for two dollars, and Budweiser, Miller, and Coors thirty pack of cans, only twenty one ninety nine. Town Pump is here to serve your community, so come visit Montana's best convenience store today. Find your next adventure at Bob Ward Sports and Outdoors. Bob Ward's Sports and Outdoors, Montana style. Our light's gone, so uh, time lapse kind of over. I just reset the time lapse down here on the track on the dolly slider. I thought maybe the sun would poke out uh, through the bottom of the clouds there, and we'd get a little like encore dramatic light, but um, the haze on the horizon swallowed it all up, and uh, and so that's it. Now uh, I'm just get to haul all these back to the studio and. Uh, and process them all and string them together and see what it looks like. So I'm driving back up to the missions. Got a great time lapse last night, I think. Anytime you get a rainbow in the frame, that's that's pretty hard to beat. Uh, fizzled out a little bit at the end, but, uh, but it was just such a great night. It was so awesome to be up there and it's so close to my house, I figured why not uh, drive back up tonight and have another crack at it. So that's what I'm doing. Made a few modifications to my my t-shirt here, so I got the mojo working, and um, see if I can't get a pretty picture. awesome because it's the wind's dying down I'm getting a really cool reflection now I'm not hearing my shutter oh <laughs> battery died <laughs> it was full and now it's dead um. <laughs> yeah well that's the end of that time lapse <laughs> Army Navy is your hunting headquarters. It's the best place around when you're serious about saving money on the things you need to go hunting. Knife sharpeners, wool gloves, backpacking meals, optics, socks, boots, insoles, stoves. Why, it's a virtual hunter's checklist. All name brands and all at fantastic savings. On Highway 2 in Evergreen and Highway 93 in Whitefish. MontanaArmyNavy.com.
I've been in southeastern Montana for a couple days now, but really, really haven't gotten much to speak of. Um, light hasn't been totally cooperating, but I'm at this lookout on the Cheyenne Reservation right now. I'm looking over the whole larger landscape, the Powder River Basin and Tongue River Valley just over here, and it's just, just so green and beautiful right now. And so, sun's going down, and I'm trying to get a time lapse. I've got the camera set up to pan 180 degrees all the way across this whole basin. So. Oh, it's just, it's just stunning. So, um, should be able to watch the, you know, I have no clouds in the sky, but should be able to watch the shadows just sort of stretch out across this whole landscape and across all the folds and wrinkles and, and, um, should be awesome. Every time I'd set up a time lapse, they would just appear. I would think I was safe range from any cattle, and then they would just come over the rise right in front of the camera and just show up, and pretty soon I'd be surrounded by, by 10 or 15 cows. Assault. The original bear deterrent has been made, developed, and scientifically tested in Montana for nearly 30 years. Counter Assault is what I chose for my staff based on my personal experience, scientific testing, and it's the only one that met all the expert recommendations. Spray time and spray distance are important in a bear attack, and Counter Assault has both. 
As an avid hiker, hunter, and outdoorsman, Counter Assault is my first line of defense in bear country. Carry what the professionals carry. Counter Assault. Grizzly Tough Bear Spray. Look for the red can. Here's this week's outdoor report by our friends at Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. Fish managers can restrict angling to protect Montana's cold water fish during warm water conditions. But this year's abnormal conditions have fish managers concerned. The drought policy was meant to be that we'd deal with this every now and again, but now it's been most years and the intensity is getting greater. This is the earliest we've uh, instituted the restrictions. For Montana's cold water fish, this year's weather has to seem troubling. Low snowpack and streams peak runoffs a month ahead of schedule led to lower flows earlier in the summer, combined with June's record-setting temperatures, created today's deadly fish scenario. But once you get up towards 73 degrees, it's very stressful on their metabolism. And then at the same time, with warmer water temperatures, there's less oxygen in the water. So you can imagine as you get more stressed and your metabolism is all fired up and it's harder to breathe, that the two things together is, isn't very hospitable for trout. Fish, Wildlife, and Parks works to lessen these warm water fish impacts by protecting Montana's rivers and streams. It's really important to protect the habitat we have and enhance where we can and limit as many of the other stressors on fish survival just to try to hold the line in places. Many western Montana rivers currently have some restrictions and others may follow, but fish managers hope through their efforts Montana will continue to be a trout fishing destination. There's a lot of positive things that we can do still that we can reverse really and maybe that'll help hold the line longer where if we change the way we're doing things globally that we'll still have a lot of what we have now. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks. I don't even know what to say about the cows. Had, uh, had my efforts stymied by cows a few times. Um, I don't even know what to say about the cows. Every time I'd set up a time lapse, they would just appear. I would think I was safe range from any cattle, and then they would just come over the rise right in front of the camera and just show up, and pretty soon I'd be surrounded by, by 10 or 15 cows. So I set up a time lapse this morning and uh, left it to go shoot some other stuff a little ways away and and the uh, these guys these guys over here got to it and uh, came back and busted my camera in half and broke the lens and knocked all the batteries out and <clears throat> slobbered and unloaded their noses on just about everything so it's a pretty gross scene over here, but uh, it's all part of time lapsing, I guess. So this is how you do a rack focus with no tripod and no monitor with one hand off of your knee. The other night I'm out shooting the time lapse and uh, started to get all purple and I thought I'd fly my drone and get some overhead shots of me shooting the time lapse and I just got a little too excited. Um, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Anyway, I flew my drone out into the time lapse, I think. I don't know, I'll have to look at it to see if it, if it actually got into the frame or not, but um, hopefully I didn't ruin my time lapse.
how to stay hydrated because they must lose like a quart an hour of liquid out of their noses. They're just constantly, they just have this snotty mucus just always dripping out of their noses. Check out the Epic Montana YouTube channel, weekly outdoor adventure films from across Montana.